<laughs> Your claws are sharp, you little turd. Well, wheels, we're back for another one. Well, it's looking like we're on the final week of setup over here. Hallelujah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Again, I guess I'm conducting this interview like this. So it's looking like I have an electrician lined up to get in here tomorrow, which has been difficult to find, but we got it. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> idiot. So basically once he's done, we just gotta drywall off that room, we're gonna be damn near operational. I also said in the last one that I was gonna be building some workbenches and that kind of stuff, but after doing some cost versus time analysis, I discovered that it was like a few hundred bucks difference just to buy all the stuff and install it as opposed to taking a bunch of time and trying to build it and probably end up looking like shit. So I ended up buying that big ass workbench slash cabinet thing. A bunch of these racks. We got a big old workbench to put in the dark room when that's done. And we also got another one of these to put in here because I know once this is rolling, I plan on expanding my 38 inventory out a lot and when my inventory is full, which right now it definitely is not because of the Black Friday sale, everything went, but when my inventory is loaded out, this thing is packed beyond belief, so I need another one. So that's the first thing we're doing today because once I get that all set up, this main area will basically be done and I can unpack all these boxes and start putting all that stuff away, so. Let's do it. Some assembly required with that thing. Jeez. All right, moving on. Well, would you look at that? I'm definitely glad I didn't build anything here because this is 10 times better than anything I would have built, so. Smart move. Well, I have that other big shelving unit to put together, but I think, I think, I'm just gonna go ahead and empty out all those boxes of stuff into there because I wanna see what it's gonna look like. This, this makes me so happy, you have no idea. This cabinet looks sick, everything's super nice and neat and organized. So this little shelf doesn't look like much, it looks like, hey, maybe you didn't get enough colors, but actually, these colors in various different combinations can mix every single color in the Pantone book, which is almost like 2,000 colors or some crazy stuff like that, in water base or Plastisol, so. That's awesome. I think that's the part I'm probably looking forward to the most, mixing colors and stuff together. Shit's cool. And this area is basically done except for one thing. I got all these squeegees, obviously, and I got these squeegee racks to put up on the wall, but I don't have any drywall anchors, so that's gonna have to wait until I can go get some. So I guess I've got one more thing left to do until tomorrow. You. Well, that sucks. Apparently they haven't updated their packaging yet, but they updated the shelf because it was supposed to match that one, and on the packaging it does. But, this one's gray. Oh well. And there's that. It's a shelf. The other stuff was so exciting, now it's like, sweet, a shelf. But check out this pile of garbage I managed to create. <laughs> well, that's as far as I can go today, so let's spin to tomorrow. All right, the electricians are here ready to do their thing, but I'm not gonna follow them around with a camera like a fucking creep, so while they're doing that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one customer job and maybe spruce the joint up a little bit, maybe make a couple more wall vinyls, put up a few things, I don't know. We're just gonna kill time until they're done, so cue the montage.
it out. Oh, <laughs> it works. Yes. So it's late. It's like four hours past my bedtime and I'm dying right now, but we got everything working. The flash works, the conveyor works. Got them to put a whole bunch of extra plugs throughout the main area, the dark room, my office, just in case. We're golden. So we are literally on the last piece of the puzzle right now. All we have left to do is the drywall, final setup, and final cleanup. So it's been to the next day to continue. Well, it's not exactly the next day. It's kind of been five or six. What can I say? Business stuff happens. But as you can see, our dark room is drywalled and ready. Also got some backsplashes up, the washout booth, dip tank, shield shelves. Killing it. Now, I just couldn't be bothered to film any of that because, well, who the hell wants to watch drywall happen? But that's as far as we're going on this. We're not taping it off, we're not mudding and not painting. None of the finishing work. We'll let that be the next guy's problem when I move out of here. I need to get to work, so what we gotta do is stick the workbench in here, stick the exposure unit in here, and a couple of the other little things, and we're ready to go. can't resist cool tools. Literally bought this just to level this table and level the screen printing press. But I mean, look at it. It's billet aluminum and it has lights. Frickin' lights. All right, moving on. So this room went from some empty piece of crap laundry room that had my washer and dryer and my furnace in it to basically as professional of a dark room as we can get within my house, so pretty damn good. But we've got everything we need in here to efficiently create and reclaim screens all damn day long. I am waiting on one more thing, which is a screen drying cabinet. Uh, it was ordered way after the fact, basically a luxury item that I figured, you know what, I should just have it. I've already got all this stuff, I might as well get it. And all that's gonna do is just really boost up efficiency and cut down on times and eliminate many, many possible fuck ups in the future. So that'll be here in like, I don't know, three weeks or something, but otherwise we're good to go. We can start working now. We don't need that thing. Yeah. It's over. Finishing up that dark room means this is done. Literally. Everything's done. Unbelievable. I honestly don't even know what to say right now. I'm like beside myself that this whole project is finally done. Like I, feel almost emotional about it. I know you guys didn't hear about or see a ton of it on here, but for me, this whole thing was literally a year in the making. Like a year ago, I decided I need to make this happen and, you know, growing the companies and doing everything necessary, coming up with the resources to make this whole thing financially feasible. And then the last two and a half, almost three months, doing the back-breaking, ball-busting labor, like 80% of it all by myself to make this thing real. And it's, it's over, like, <laughs> it's, it's ready to go. I don't even know what to do right now. Well, I know the first thing I'm gonna do after almost three months of working 14 hours a day is I'm taking two, three days and not moving from my couch. I'm ordering pizza nonstop. I'm not moving. I might even piss in a bottle. I don't know, but I'm definitely doing as little as absolutely possible. And then it's time to start busting ass, making stuff and learning and you know becoming a screen print shop, which is gonna be super awesome. But the first thing we gotta do, I guess, you know, I'm not really much of a reveal guy, but I feel like that's necessary because last time you saw this business start really was in my office originally when it just had a laptop and one shitty little fold up table in it and that was it and a couple shirts in it. So next week, we're gonna do a full tour of everything I have built here over the last year and then we're gonna get to work starting to make stuff. So let's do this. Well, all right, you guys, I'm gonna start my couch surfing immediately because if you can't tell, I am clearly exhausted. So thanks for watching yet again. We'll see you again in the next one.